immigration and customs enforcement agents have no choice but to arrest illegal immigrants. In California despite new sanctuary city legislation, the nation's top immigration and customs enforcement, ICE, officials said Friday that his agency had no choice but to arrest illegal immigrants in California's neighborhoods and work sites despite newly signed sanctuary city legislation. Those arrested would also likely placed in out-of-state detention centers. ICE Acting Director Thomas Homan said in a statement, Homan's comments came a day after Gov. Jerry Brown D. Califf signed Bill SB 54, or Sanctuary State Legislation. The bill, which goes into effect on Jan. 1 would ban police from asking people about their immigration status or participating in federal immigration enforcement activities. Jail officials would only be allowed to transfer inmates to federal immigration authorities if they have been convicted of certain crimes. Homan cautioned the bill helped protect illegal immigrants from deportation and made the state a magnet. Ultimately, SB 54 helps shield removable aliens from immigration enforcement and creates another magnet for more illegal immigration, all at the expense of the safety and security of the very people it purports to protect. Homan warned, however, Brown noted the bill does not bar ICE from operating in the state. His office declined to comment further on the ICE statement Friday. They are free to use their own considerable resources to enforce federal immigration law in California, Brown wrote. Brown said the law does prevent the commandeering of local officials to do immigration work. These are uncertain times for undocumented Californians and their families. And this bill strikes a balance that will protect public safety while bringing a measure of Comfort to those families who are now living in fear every day. Brown said, Democratic Senate President Pro Tem Kevin DeLeon, who carried the bill, said Homan's statement exemplifies the fear-mongering and lies that guide this administration. The Trump administration is once again making heavy-handed threats against California because we won't help them tear apart families and our economy in the process. Leon said in a statement, Democratic lawmakers in California have worked to create barriers to Trump's campaign pledge to bolster deportation efforts. Trump highlighted sanctuary cities during his presidential campaign after the killing of Kate Steinel, a San Francisco woman, who was fatally shot at a pier in 2015 by a Mexican national who had been deported five times in June. Kate's law passed in the House, which would increase the penalties for deported aliens who try to return to the U.S. Trump has threatened to withhold federal funding to sanctuary cities, several of which have filed lawsuits to prevent that from happening. California is home to an estimated 2. 3 million immigrants without legal authorization. The Associated Press contributed to this report.